you know, the people who are out there um, uh, expressing themselves and then being taking great risks uh, to do so and, and sometimes being punished in quite serious ways are heroic people. Uh, they're people who really deserve our support. Um, and we should always think about uh, what is the best way that we can support them? Uh, one of the things in the case of Raif that uh, I've been adamant about is putting pressure on the Saudi government uh, directly by ordinary people like us who live in the UK or Europe or the US um, isn't likely to do much. They really don't care what the general public thinks in, in Europe or the US. But they do care about trade, uh, and they do care about various kinds of support they get from Western governments. And those Western governments better listen to us, the people. And so for me, what we should be doing is putting enormous pressure on our own governments to say, you've got to stop doing business with the Saudis um, until they reform. And that's really, really critical. And one of the, one of the things we know from history is that we've had so much trouble um, when our governments uh, turn a blind eye to human rights abuses in other places because, you know, the old saying, well, he may be a dictator, but he's our dictator. That just blows up in your face, and it may take 10 years or 20 years, and suddenly you're, you're part of the oppression, and this isn't where we should be. We should be leading by example. Uh, we should be really put imposing sanctions, no matter how much money or oil a country has uh, to say this behavior is not acceptable and we'll, we'll find a way without your oil. Well, it's, it's a great honor to even attempt to do that. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he's become a great symbol for freedom and uh, so Raif, uh, you're a hero to me and to a lot of other people. Uh, to the family, we support you and uh, we're going to do what we can to try and help. And I call upon you now to release Raif immediately, uh, allow him to leave the country, uh, release all of the political prisoners that you have, and then more fundamentally and longer term, reform your policies. Uh, be aware that merely speaking your mind is not a crime and it's not something that you can punish people for. And be aware that the, there's a rising mood and a rising movement uh, worldwide to put pressure on our governments and our businesses to stop doing business with you. It's going to really hurt you. So uh, now's the time.